Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. There's a knock at the door, so let's go and see who it is. If they try to mess with me, I'm gonna whack them upside the head with my bat. Yes. <laughs> well, I know, I heard a da 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 knock in there somewhere. Mm. Why don't you do it, Mom? You were there before I was. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, what do we got here? Well, the door's moving like crazy. Whoa! Is that Pokey? Uh, okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, what they left suddenly. Oh, yeah, the sharks, the local ruffians. No, of course not. But yours, you're not a big fat ass who doesn't know what to do. Kind of reminds me of Taloon from Dragon Warrior 4. Uh, no, that's okay. Whoa! Well, hell no! <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, okay, what do you mean say goodbye? What does that mean? Okay, sure. Oh, we should take King along. Yeah, we already got the bats, so we're in good shape. You damn right I am. Let me look at that hairdo. I got spiky hair like crazy. Wait, is a mom actually encouraging her son to fight? Go for it. Okay, let's get this over with. <laughs> Tom Cruise, you wrote down go and you wagered for it. Go for it. You certainly did. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Good advice by our good friend Tom Cruise. Ah, of course. Gotta change out of the jammies. It's obligatory. Alright, and apparently it's light outside. Alright, see, see there's Tracy around. No, nope, we're good. So, okay, well, let's just head on downstairs then. Now that I'm out of my jammies and in my stylish baseball cap, even though, oops, even though I haven't really equipped a baseball cap. All right, thank you. Oh, and we get a cookie. Uh, no, that's okay. So yeah, so she's kind of like the uh, delivery service of the game. Huh? Yeah, damn right, I'm cool. All right, let's go. Oh, fair enough. All right, and Pokey joins us. Excellent. Huh? Oh. <laughs> okay, well, I guess the phone jumps up and down just like normal RPGs. Uh, sure. Listen, our mom's pretty useless, it looks like. Oh, hey, it's our dad. What's up, Pops? How you doing? Huh? I'm confused. Oh, great. Even though you're not around, I appreciate that. That's great. So, wait, how do they even know that we're going on an adventure? I mean, here's what I don't understand. I mean, we're just going to investigate a meteor. What does that mean? Oh, great, and this is how you save the game, by just uh, calling your dad. Oh, and he deposited $30 in our bank account. Aha, and that's how we earn money in the game, is uh, occasionally our dad will deposit some money, and then you just uh, go withdraw it from the ATM. Well, I don't get it. Again, I'm just going to look at a meteorite. That's all we're going to do. All right. Oh, you know what? One thing I forgot to do. I wasn't, and I uh, didn't realize that you could do this, but okay. What's up, buddy? No. That's right. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go. And we get another new party member. King the dog. All right, so we got a guy with a hat, a bulging fat ass, and a dog. What could possibly go wrong? All right, well, let's go investigate that meteorite, what's going on here. Okay, well, let's see what's going on in town, I guess. Huh? Yes. Oh yeah, we gotta go get Picky home, so. Yeah, we can't go into town while this fat ass and the dog is uh, going along with us. Oh. And now it's time for our first battle of the game against a spiteful crow. Ow! He pecked at my face. Ooh yeah, nice job, King. Yeah, so uh, and sometimes the enemies will uh, not do anything, so you kinda get a free turn. 
All right, and the crow becomes tame. Very good. Oh, and we get a cookie. Excellent. Very nice. That will help us recover some HP. So, yeah, so that's how the battle mechanics work in the game. You'll occasionally run into things, and you just need to take them out. Oh, I see. No, you won't. You're just going to sit there and be obnoxious. Look at, let me look at his face. His face is open the whole time. At least the dog, you know, he looks like a real dog. I mean, look at that guy. And we got another new enemy here, the runaway dog. I wonder if this is a, uh, you know, uh, kind of, I don't know what's the word, genocide maybe for the dog. I don't know if that's the right word, where a dog is attacking his own kind, but yep, there you go. All right. Oh, and Ness gained a level. Excellent. Very good. Ooh, and he gained some healing magic. Good. So that will be helpful uh, along the way, for sure. And there's another runaway dog there, no problem. Ooh, and there's a fly. Uh, that's actually a very good thing. I'll see if I can run into it. And we got another cookie from that uh, spiteful crow there. So, yeah, good opportunity to fill up some inventory with some healing items. All right, and Ness gained another level there, and his stats got a lot better that time. So, yeah, he got some defense and guts and vitality boost, and his HP went up by 15, actually. So that was pretty cool. So yeah, and so there's that life up spell. I can uh, recover some, uh, let's see, some HP to everybody. So that's cool. Okay, was that fly around? I thought I saw him. Nope, I guess he disappeared. So anyways, occasionally if you run into those flies, it can recover 20 uh, FP, which is the equivalent of uh, magic points in this game. So that can be useful. Uh-oh, I, I wonder if that's picky. I'm a man's man. That's right. Oh, there's picky there. So we can go save him. And the roadblock's all gone. All right. Well, you know, I'm going to go ahead and heal up here. I'll show you using a cookie here. And he recovers 6 HP. Huh? What? King, get back here. Get back here, you worthless rodent. I mean, a uh, dog. Oh, he was just taking a little siesta there. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, we gotta get home. That's right. And now Picky joins the team. I hope he's more useful than that stupid Pokey. Huh? I don't. Well, now I hear that buzzing sound. Uh-oh, it's gonna be time to rumble here in a little bit. I don't like where this is going at all. Oh, it's just a little fly. All right, let's get the flash water out and take care of that thing. Oh, but he's not a bee. Whoa, he's from 10 years in the future. So if this game was like 1990, then he must be from my time. Uh, Gygus, the Universal Cosmic Destroyer. Oh, no, that's terrible. Oh, we have some nice sappy music here. A chosen boy reaches the point he will find the light. Huh, interesting. Oh, well, of course we're that boy. This is why uh, the mom said that we were going on an adventure. Oh, I see. Oh, so we've got to go and we've got to save the world. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. Well, I'm smart, I'm courageous, but I don't have any friends because these two people are useless. Three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. Okay, great. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, if you say no, he just goes over the whole spiel again, and that's really annoying. And now Buzz Buzz, Buzz, Buzz joins us. That's cool. <laughs> that's right. Oh, Pokey, you worthless bastard. All right, well, let's uh, go ahead and get out of here then. All right, so we'll just keep on moving along here. I wonder if this guy says anything. Uh, okay, what's up? Whoa, that's creepy. Yeah, whenever you hear that creepy sound, it means something kind of big's gonna happen, so, but yeah, I'll go visit him later, no problem. I can handle that for sure. All right, let's keep on moving here, and uh, we'll just start heading back to uh, town there. 
Yeah, it's moving along nicely here. You know what? I want to use another cookie. Yeah, so I can heal up on some HP there. Oh, it seems like all the enemies went away. They must be scared of the little fly that's around me. Whoa! Uh-oh! Huh? How does it, wait, how does this guy know Buzz Buzz? A useless insect. Wait, was this guy a hero? I wonder if his human name was Buzz Buzz. And now it's time for a boss battle against the Starman Jr. All right. So strategy for this guy is... Whoa. Buzz Buzz has got some power. And now we have four of us, I guess. Is he at least Picky's doing anything, doing something about it, you know? Uh-oh. Oh, whew. That's good. Whoa. Nice shot, Buzz Buzz. Holy crap. This fly is... Pl <laughs> Pokey play dead. Uh-oh. Damn. Whew. Fortunately, we got that psychic shield on there, but... Yeah, this little fly's kicking ass. Okay, so he's just in reinforcing the psychic shield there. So yeah, that basically nullifies all magic attacks. So that's kind of cool. And Pokey's useless. Okay, that's a little past this, because we know what's going to happen there, but... Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Nice shot, Buzz Buzz. Yeah, we got him. Ooh, 16 experience. All right. Good job, team, and we've defeated the Starman Jr. Oh, wow. Damn. Oh, wow, I see. So I see we have to try and tame everybody here. Ah, so that's why those crows and, and that, uh, uh, you know, um, those uh, dogs attack us and stuff. It's the truth, so listen. Man, this guy's starting to remind me of Navi from Zelda. Hey, listen. All right, well, we successfully defeated the Starman Jr., but what awaits us on our adventure? Can we stop Gygus? You're going to have to wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.